Hello students, in this video, I'm going to explain you the external exam question paper pattern for the course engineering graphics, which is common to all the branches of BTEC first years under JNTUH. The total marks for the exam is 100, where 25 marks is for the internal exam and 75 marks for the external exam. This 25 marks in the internal exam are being splitted into midterm exams average as well as your day-to-day -day submission of your drawing sheets. And external exam, the questions will be asked from five units where you need to attend five questions. Let's look into unit-wise details of the topics which will be asked in the JNTUH question paper. The first unit consists of three categories. One is conic section, the second is cycloidal curves, and the third is scales. Under conic section, we have ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, different methods, including uh, eccentricity method. We have put together all 15 methods. You need to practice all those out of which anyone will be asked in the exam. And coming to cycloids, we have general method, epicycloid as well as hypocycloid. And coming to the scales, we have two types of scales. The first is a plane scale, and the second one is diagonal scales. Dear students, if you look here, there are odd categories in the unit one, whereas the question paper, first and second question will be from unit one. That is either conic section, 1A or 1B will be cycloids, or one, 2A will be cycloids and 2B may be scales. That means they be asking all categories of these three in the question paper. So you be perfect with all these or at least with minimum of two categories. Unit two is orthographic projections. In orthographic projections also we have three categories. They are projection of points, projection of lines, and projection of planes. From projection of points, we have uh, quadrant problems, one, two, four quadrant problems, as well as lying on HP and lying on VP, and some sample problems also will be asked from the points. And coming to projection of lines, the compulsory question will be, uh, the most, uh, most of the time they'll be asking inclined to both HP and VP, please do practice the problem. And coming to the planes, out of different planes, they'll be asking you any one plane, which is compulsory question like uh, the statement, uh, planes inclined to both HP and VP. Here coming to unit two, in the question paper, the question numbers are three and four. Here also, dear students, there may be a 15 mark direct question, or there may be seven plus eight combination, like three A may be point and B may be line, or four A may be, uh, line or 4b may be planes so try to practice all this or a minimum of any two compulsory let's look into the unit 3 which is also again orthographic projections and we have two categories here the first one is regular solids projection of regular solids in this out of prisms pyramids and uh, the solids which are of solids of revolution they may be asking any one question, which is a direct one, uh, which is inclined to both HP and VP problem. Inclined to HP and VP problem of 15 marks. And the second category is sections or sectional views of a right regular solids. This is also comes under the prisms, pyramids and solids of revolution, where a direct question, you need to have, draw the sectional view of the given solid, uh, which is for a 15 mark. Even the fourth unit is also under a topic orthographic projection. We have two categories here, development of solid surfaces as well as intersections of solids. Here they may be asking you the development of uh, a truncated or uh, a frustum of a given solid or direct uh, prism, pyramid or solids of revolution. Any topic of any solid may be asked here and you need to draw its lateral surface. And coming to intersection, we have prism versus prism and cylinder versus cylinder. Anyone will be asked that comes under the question seventh and eighth. So seventh question may be the surface development and eighth question will be the intersection, which is a 15 mark question direct. And the last unit is uh, isometric projections. 
which is uh, we are going to talk here uh, about the planes lines as well as solids projections so they will be most probably asking you isometric projection of solid which is a single question that is ninth question in the question paper which is for 15 mark or the conversion of isometric to orthographic projection or vice versa that means they'll be giving you a 3d object here you need to convert it into 2d or if it is given in 2d you need to convert it to 3d which is a single question and which is for 15 marks this may be the ninth or tenth unit 5 is 9 or 10. Let's look into the model question paper, dear students. Uh, I have considered R18 model question paper, which is uh, for 75 mark and common to, I, I, I let you, uh, this is nothing but a common to all the branches of engineering. Let us consider. Let's look here, answer uh, uh, all five questions. All question carries equal mark. That means each question carry 15 mark. Let's look at the question number one and two. This one and two is from unit one. That is nothing but uh, curves from the curves. Let's see here. This is eight plus seven. That means they asked in one A and B or in two A or B, A and B. That means eight plus seven. So you need to attempt either one hundred percent completely or two hundred percent completely. A few students raise question like I have attempted one A and I have attempted two B. They consider only either one A or one B. Dear students, please try to understand here the or option is used here. So let's look here. What are the different questions uh, categories considered in Unit One? If you see here, hyperbola eccentricity method is asked. And the second question, the first 1B is uh, a diagonal scale. That means one is from conic section, the other is a diagonal, which you need to be perfect with these two topics. Then only you can uh, draw this, which is for 8 plus 7 mark. Or 2A or B, which is also from the first unit. This is of circle of diameter, ruling another circle. I'm going to just read uh, a gist of the question, not the complete in order to give you an idea what part of the syllabus is being covered here in this question paper. So here it is rolling circle uh, on another circle. This is nothing but epicyclide. The epicyclide is given here and the B is diagonal scale, dear student. If you see here, they have covered all the topics in the of the unit one in one as well as two. So you should be perfect uh, by looking at uh, the sample question papers of the previous years, you try to practice accordingly. Next three and four is for the second unit. So they have asked again split here, A, B, A, B option is given. Uh, this is line PQ, I mean the line inclination problem. And B is a circular lamina, which is nothing but a plane problem. So line and plane combination in th third question. And the fourth one is also again a line, straight line. Uh, and a rectangular plate and a rectangle. So the line inclination as well as rectangular plate inclination problem is asked here. As I told you, uh, they'll be asking compulsory line inclination as well as uh, plane inclination. Here they have given again splits, which is also again seven plus eight. Next come look into the third unit. This is the third unit that is solids, which is a fifth and sixth question. They have given a cylinder here. Cylinder inclination problem, dear students, inclined to both the planes. And sixth question is a pentagonal pyramid. They asked here to draw the sectional top view. That means section, a regular uh, solid uh, inclination here. And this is a sectional view, the sixth question. The fourth unit, which is seventh and eighth question, uh, which is a vertical cylinder of diameter penetration. That means it's intersection, curves of intersection. This is intersection versus a cylinder versus a cylinder problem. And here the eighth question is, what is this pentagonal prism, a solid? They ask you to draw the development of lateral surface. See, dear students, they're covering each and every topic of the syllabus uh, of this course. This is intersections as well as lateral surface development. You need to draw any one which is direct 15 mark question here again and coming to the fifth unit which is of isometric problem here is have asked you to draw the isometric projection of the frustum of cone for a cone problem they have asked to isometric projection or uh, 3d diagram in isometric view is given you need to convert it into 2d if you look at the entire question paper dear students uh, i see only point topic is not covered here the remaining all the topics are being covered so be prepared uh, 100% uh, uh, with the topics which you are going to prepare for the exam. Why? Because they may be asking anything here. 
and i wish you all a good luck for your final exams prepare well and perform well in the exam and also please do subscribe me to my channel as well as share this with your friends i thank you